What's going on with the people, man? You feel what I'm saying? What's going on with my people, man? We out here, man, getting to it. You know, as usual, getting to it, man. It's been a good day so far, man. You feel what I'm saying? Got a lot going on. You feel what I'm saying? There's a lot going on out here in general, period. And, uh, man, it's, it's, life is, life come with, with a ton of blessings and, and, and a ton of lessons. You feel what I'm saying? Life come with a ton of blessings and a ton of lessons. These streets out here right now, it's foggy. You feel what I'm saying? So y'all got to put on y'all high beamers. Like, make sure you paying attention. You feel me? To all my street hustlers, you feel me? Street soldiers, street warriors, you feel what I'm saying? To all the individuals that's in the trap trying to get it out the mud, make sure you keep your head on a swivel. Make sure that you feel what I'm saying? When you out here doing what you're doing, you doing what you're doing for a purpose and for the right reasons, for the right causes. Be your own man. Be your own leader at the end of the day. Don't follow behind no crowd out here. You feel me? Like, if you're going to do something and you serious about doing what you're going to do, nine times out of ten, just keep it to yourself and get it done. You feel me? You don't got to explain yourself, get no explanations about nothing or, you feel me? Like, keep it to yourself. You feel me? Like, we, we to the point right now, it's so many of us, like, losing our life, going to jail, and getting all this unwanted time, you feel me? 50, 60, 70 years to life, you feel me? Because we ain't using our brain. We ain't using our mind, you feel me? We out here just, like, we fishing for trouble, bro. Like, like we, we literally fishing for trouble. It's a lot of individuals that's fishing for trouble. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like, even the era I came up in, I'm going to tell you something about me. I always was a leader. I always was big on respect. I always prided myself about not stepping on nobody else's toes. You feel me? Keeping it 100 to the core. You feel what I'm saying? Like, keeping it 100 to the core. And, uh, like, one thing I also, like, also used to always tell myself, I'm going to try to I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the best I could to be different. I'm gonna do the best I could to be different. See, let, let me tell you something about the streets. The streets, you feel me? They act like they care about how many people you done shot, how much time you done did, you feel me? Like how much work you done put in. But truth be told, don't none of that really matter at the end of the day. You know what really matter? Well, really, when I was coming up in my era, when it was like when it was kicking and booming and moving, respect. That's what I prided myself off of respect. You feel what I'm saying? Because long as you got respect and, and, and you ain't no like pushover, people going to look at you like you feel me. You a stand up dude. You, you, you about your business. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't nobody going to mess with you. Ain't nobody going to test you. You might have them few that you got to show. You feel what I'm saying? But other than that, it wasn't to the point to where you had to. You had to have a body count of five or better, or you didn't have to do five, ten years in jail. You feel me? It never was like that in the streets. Nowadays, it's the other way around. Ain't nobody respecting nobody. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's 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 to the point to where people don't even respect their elders no more. Like, we respected our elders. You feel me? Like, you would have a crowd nowadays, a crowd, a gang gang, whatever you want to call it. They don't even respect their elders good enough to talk about the street drama and the beef that they going through with the next individual away from their elders. They bring everything to their household. Everything I did and, and my crew did and we did, you feel me? We 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 was way away from the way away from the house when we was doing what we was doing. We wasn't just doing shit and bringing it back, you feel me, to where we lay our head at. Like you feel me? Like our elders, our parents and shit, they probably knew or heard a little certain shit we was doing. But for the most part, when we was doing what we was doing, we was really in the streets doing it. We wasn't doing it out of like, like being careless about who it affect. You feel me? We always was like two, three steps, ahead. especially me. I was like two, three, two, three steps ahead. You feel me? Okay, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going to do it a certain way. You feel me? I'm going to do it a certain way. Y'all got to understand, man, to all my individuals out here, especially the youngins, man, out here right now, man. Man, make sure 
anything you do in life, make sure you be the boss at it. Make sure you be the leader. Make sure you run it. I don't care if you're going to be in the gang or not. I don't want, I wouldn't want you to be in no gang, but if anything you're going to do, make sure you be your own man at the end of the day. You feel me? Don't let nobody like, like make you feel like you left out. So you got to join a gang or join what they're part of the, 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 the fit in to feel like you feel me. You, you getting some kind of recognition from the people that's around you. Look, bro, it don't, it, that don't even matter. Long as you got, long as you know who you is at the end of the day. And you, you value yourself, man, people going to respect who you is. You ain't got to get your respect by killing nobody, by, 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 by going to jail, doing a gang of time, by being in mess, being involved in drama and all that. You ain't got to, that ain't how you get your respect. You know how you get your respect? By being the stand-up individual and being the individual of your word, being the man of your word. You feel me? Don't get caught up into these, like, these uh these traps where you feel like you got to do this that and the third just to gain some kind of respect you feel me man it's a lot i be seeing out here man y'all got to get it together man you feel me like on the real like y'all got to get it together because you know it's a lot of niggas out here man right now doing time you feel me that they can't take so they breaking you feel me niggas out here getting killed you got your mama blood pressure, you feel me? Like, on the rise right now. Like, you got to do a good job with keeping your mama blood pressure down, man. That's all I... See, When like, when I was in the streets, when I was doing shit, when we was in the streets getting to it and shit, like, when I was really, like, when we was really moving, stepping, one thing about me and one thing about my mama, my mama knew at the end of the day, my son is a leader. So she wasn't as worried about me as I knew my friends' mothers was worried about them. Because my mama knew I was a leader at everything I did. You feel what I'm saying? Period. When my friends came to my house, they was looking for me because they knew I was the leader. That's how my mama looked at me. Like, I ain't got to worry about my son because I know he, gonna, he can hold his own, basically. You feel what I'm saying? He, he, he to the point to where he's so wise... You know what I mean? He's so intelligent in what he do. I ain't really got to worry about him doing no stupid shit or getting into no stupid shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people, parents can't say that about them, bro. Like, they they worry. They up all night worried about you. You got your mama, your grandma, your auntie, your uncle. They worried about you, stressed out about you because they don't know whether you out here, you feel me? Shit. You out here probably damn near on your deathbed or if you somewhere, you feel what I'm saying, in a cool situation, they, they, they don't know what you up to. You feel me? Like the first thing you got to understand when you out here on the grind and when you out here getting to the money is going to come with haters. And why do I say that? Because nine times out of ten, a lot of us, we get caught up in the mix that just because somebody hating on us or we got words with somebody that we got to fall out with them and we got to make them our enemy. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that, that's that's backwards. You feel what I'm saying? Like, see who your haters is and weed them out. On the flip side to that, like I was just speaking on, stop trying to get your respect by how many niggas recognize you as being that nigga. You feel me? You should already know you him. Anybody you step around, anybody come across you, they're going to know that, okay, that's him. I ain't going to play with him. He bought his respect. He bought his money. He bought his business. You feel what I'm saying? That's all you need, you feel what I'm saying, to validate you in these streets, if that's what you're a part of, if you in these streets. Don't think you got to go serve time, go do time for the next man, or go knock, uh, 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 go knock somebody down, you feel what I'm saying? Just to gain some kind of stripes or respect. That's not where the respect come from. You feel? I know a lot of individuals, bro, that got bodies. That in did time. And don't nobody respect them. Don't nobody, like, look at them as, as, as somebody that that they look up to. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, bro. That, ain't a, that, that, that shit right there, like, when you in these streets, that shit right there, like, that shit uh, 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 really... That shit will really fuck up your whole life. It'll fuck up your family life, bro. By trying to be out here, you know what I mean? Trying to move with, with these intentions of how your friends look at life and shit like that. 
See, even though I had a gang of friends around me and shit, and we all was with the shit, don't get it twisted. I always, as a as a as a youngster, I always moved in a way to where I was my own man at the end of the day. Then nothing they do was gonna dictate what I did. Then nothing they do or say was gonna dictate what I did. I was gonna make my own decisions and my own moves for myself. You feel what I'm saying? And y'all should be doing the same thing out there because it's too many lives being lost. And it's just a misunderstanding. You feel me? It's a misunderstanding because everybody want to be tough. Everybody want to be tough. And I understand you going through the motions. So when you go through the motions like that and you see all your friends and you see the women and everybody around you, this, you know, they they buying into the hype. You're going to want to become part of that, too. But you got to always be an independent thinker. Think for yourself. You feel me? You got to always be the individual that stand out for the crowd and, and, and not be a follower and make up your own shit. Run your own business. Run your own clique. You feel me? Straight up. I ain't a part of what nobody do. I run this shit because I made it up. This is my shit. You feel what I'm saying? Once you start thinking like that, your respect, your respect going to last longer. You feel me? Your respect going to last longer and people going to respect you just for what kind of individual you was. You want no pushover. You want no follower. A lot of these a lot a lot of these niggas out here think a lot of people in the streets be thinking they get their respect by joining somebody else gang or joining somebody else shit. When really, you feel what I'm saying the intelligent individuals you looked at as a weak source. You weak, you a weak link, you feel me? And that's why a lot of people be losing their life out here, bro. Because a lot of people be trying to keep up with this perception that if I'm hard or if I'm toting pistols or if I'm serving uh, time in jail and doing jail time and shit, I'm that nigga and I'm going to get respect in the streets. Bro, these streets don't love nobody, bro. And they got an expiration date for everybody, you feel me? So you can let the streets take you out or you can take yourself out the streets and remove yourself from them situations. You feel what I'm saying? And And... and and, and this 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 the kind of shit that people ain't realizing nowadays, bro, because it's like everybody for they self right now. Everybody for they self. Everybody in it for they self. So ain't nobody giving nobody no kind of game no more. You don't see, you feel me, the the the, the uncles and the elders of the uh uh the hood. They ain't giving out no game no more. They strung out and shit. They out here for they self. Niggas mamas and shit. You feel what I'm saying? They ain't even really worried about their kids. They ain't worried about how their kids going to come out. They think their kids is good and they can't do no wrong in their eyes. You feel what I'm saying? So you got niggas out here on the run that's in the streets. They ain't got no guidance. They ain't get no advice from nobody. You feel me? But when you do get some advice from somebody, make sure that shit stick with you. Make sure you listen. Don't be hard-headed. You feel me? Don't be stupid. Make sure you use your mind. You feel me? Be your own leader at the end of the day. Don't have nobody leading you to do shit. You feel what I'm saying? Make your own decisions at the end of the day. Period. That's how you last. You feel what I'm saying? That's how you last out here in these streets. The, the goal is not to, you know, be a part of this shit. Once you get in some shit, okay, I give it to you. You might be in that shit because you might, you might look at the shit like, you know, I'm buying into this shit because this way everybody I run with, they're a part of this shit. Everybody in my clique, everybody uh, that I run with at school, they're a part of this shit. They're a part of this gang culture. But you got to understand, you got to have an exit plan for that shit. If you ain't got no vision and you ain't got no way that you're trying to make it up out that shit, you're going to either die, go to jail, or get strung out on drugs, I'm telling you. You feel what I'm saying? You got to have an exit strategy. Like, okay, how I'm going to get out this shit? I'm in this shit right now. I can't do nothing about it. I can't do nothing about my mama moving to, you feel me? Shit. The west side of the east side of the motherfucking city where it's reckless at. You feel? I can't do nothing about that. I can't control that. But what I can control is my behavior. You feel what I'm saying? And how I'm being persuaded and who I follow. You feel what I'm saying? That's what you could control. So focus on what you can control. And make sure you ain't no follower. You feel what I'm saying? There's too many followers out here right now, man. And they think that they doing something because they, you know, they got these, they, they got these little hoes around them telling them, 
I like how you did that. I, I, I like how you doing this. And so it's kind of, it's, it's building up hype for these niggas, man. But these niggas don't know that all this shit that they doing, even with the females that's around them, the niggas that's around them, it's all a part of the devil's plan. You feel me? You got to, man, you got to have an exit plan, man. You got to have a strategy when you out here. This shit not to get in this shit and stay in this 